bless the name of the Lord from the depth of your heart. From the depth of your heart. From the depth of your heart. Let him know how big he is. Let him know how big he is. Let him know how big he is. Oh. see it you working even though I don't feel that you working you never stop you never stop working even though I don't see it you working even though I don't feel it you working you never stop you never stop working See it, you working. Even though I don't feel it, you working. You never stop. You never stop working. Because you have a promise for us, eh? I shall make both day. You come in all day. You just want your soul to If you are joining us online, we want to also acknowledge you and we would also plead with you that you hit the share button and just share it with your friends, your family. Let us join, let us call as many as people to join in this service.
because God is in to do something good in our lives. We are on Facebook, on the Prophet's page, the Prophet Daniel Ejaku Afari, we are live. And we are also on Instagram, the Prophet Daniel Ejaku Afari. Please share it on your walls and your statuses and let all your friends and your family join in as we worship the Lord this morning. God bless you. Yawaya mami, anon to me ka, anon to me ka. Nesi de na mata, de nga nesi, awana to me baby. Oh, ah, mami to me fama no, de yawaya, nesi rati.
and tell the person the victory is already ours to celebrate. No, 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 no. Do it as if you believe it. Let, don't let coronavirus take away your liberty in Christ from you. Elbow shake. Elbow shake. Wow. the times are deadly, the times are good or bad, the word of the Lord said, bless the name of the Lord at all times, for his praise shall continually be in my mouth. We thank God for the lives of each and every one of us. Lift your hands, we are in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you, we bless you for the liberty we have in you to serve you. We know that we are approaching the second advent of Christ, your only begotten son. And the perilous times in the world are imminent, but our trust is in you and our faith unshakable. For this reason, Lord, we maintain our confession and our faith. And this morning we have gathered that, Lord, you may strengthen us on the inside, embolden us that we may fulfill your will, your purpose, and that, Lord, we may serve you the way you ordain it to be. I pray that as your word comes to us, may yokes be broken, fears be scattered. Let every valley be exalted and let the mountains come low. Who are thou mountain before Zerubbabel? We declare you shall be like a plain, say the Lord. We thank you, Heavenly Father. Flow and have your way in our life, in our midst. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Wow. Wow. Praise God. I don't know how you feel, but I'm just enjoying myself in the Lord. If you are a Christian, let me tell you something. If you are a Christian, these last days, you cannot be a weak faith Christian. And I say this to you because the world is not going to get any better. In fact, life in this world is going to get increasingly and progressively difficult for those who don't know their God. But the Bible says, For they that do know their God shall be strong, and they shall was exploits. 
the more the world becomes difficult, the more the church becomes tougher. And the Christians who are Christians of knowledge of who their God is will do impossible things. I see you doing the impossible. I see God beautifying your life. Don't be afraid of COVID-19. It's a virus. And the God I serve is a God of all flesh. I say he's the God of all flesh. The God of HIV virus. The God of malaria parasite. He's the God of COVID-19 virus. He's the God of all flesh. And the Bible says, is there anything too hard for him? Praise God. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. I want to continue my series on the seven spirits of God. I, I, today I'm late. Permit me. Um, I'm going to be teaching for the next about 40 minutes. And I want to be talking about the spirit of might. The spirit of might. If you are a well-meaning believer, do well and assemble all the uh, sermons I am teaching on the seven spirits of God. Do well, get all of them together, listen to them over again and again until it enters your soul. It is going to give you a spiritual hunger to long for the spirit of God and that will change the face of your life and your Christianity. Years ago, I was hawking pure water in far away town in a place called Techiman in the Brunhafu region of Ghana and the Lord touched me with his might. And after that, my life was no more the same. I have seen the Spirit of God through the Spirit of mind do so many impossible things with me. So be very attentive and long for the spiritual. It will help you. In, uh, Isaiah 11, 1 to 2 is where we've been dwelling. It said, and the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The him here referring to Jesus, the anointed one, the Spirit of wisdom, to the spirit of understanding today, the spirit of counsel, and the spirit of what? Might. So the spirit of might is the fifth spirit among the seven spirits of God. He is what? The fifth spirit among the seven spirits of God. Praise God. Now who is he? And what does he do? The spirit of might is the one who gives you superhuman strength? Can I say that again? I said he's the one who does what? Gives you superhuman strength. Without him, you can't walk in the supernatural. Anytime you see something is above the natural or more than the ordinary, something is done which has impeccable and uh, superhuman qualities, it is the work of this spirit of might in the life of the believer. So he gives you superhuman strength. Two, he gives you might that overcomes strength. He gives you what? Might that overcomes strength. Um, right now, if I want to carry this puppet, I need strength, isn't it? I need to have some biceps and muscles well developed they say you must be macho everybody fear macho men so politicians use macho men for many things during uh, election year we are in election year if not for covid 19 restrictions but now you see any minister of state or parliamentarian that comes in your constituency or that works anywhere they have macho men with motorbikes sometimes in even in their car boot hallelujah human beings become uh, uh, faces and uh, hallelujah, macho man. But God can give you more than macho. He gives you something that overcomes macho or strength. If this spirit is with you, now those of you that are current with the trend of the prophetic in Africa, most of you, when you watch most of these prophets in Africa that are working in certain dimensions of the prophetic, they won't touch you. Eh? In this house, you have seen me sometimes call people or just declaring things and without touching the person, that means I'm not using my muscles. But the person will be carried from where they are sitting and then they fall under the power of God. 
this activity or operation cannot be said to be the muscles of a human being. Are you getting what I'm saying? But the person was what? Carried in the uh, spirit by the spirit of might at work or in operation. Sometimes you see somebody call um, a, a sick person or something, they want to minister to them, and then they just do their hands some way, and then you see the whole body of this sick person is vibrating. And as it vibrates, you see uh, if it is maybe um, a pulse which has uh, developed inside the skin, you see the pulse is what? Coming out, and instantly they are healed. There was a prophet, I don't want to mention names, um, I heard many people lambasting him and saying that he's not of God because he would just do the less like this. And everything he does, you see the person's leg who has been amputated or something also moving. Sometimes he can do it and you see the person's leg growing, amputated leg will grow. And then people say, are you fake? Are you magic? Magicians? Con man? It is because the church is not very uh, knowledgeable about the oppressions of the seven spirit of God. This is the spirit of might. He gives you superhuman ability. I did not know you know said, but it is happening. You can't deny it. You see, nothing silence opposition than proofs. So I pray the Lord gives you proofs in your life. They may not believe you, they, they may not like you, but the proofs are so evident for anybody to deny. And this is the work of the spirit of might. I've gone to meetings and the place is packed. Learned people are seated and they said the prophet is coming and they were expecting a very tall, beard-headed uh, man. They said the guy can see you and mention your name and say this and trace your hometown, blah, blah. The information is in town, abroad. And I go there and they are disappointed at my appearance. They see a feeble, short, very unassuming boy. And they see big men in suit and tie carrying my Bible and my books. And they, they've given me a trophy, driving me around. And if you see the protocols and I appear, you'll be angry. But it is not the doing of this short, dark-skinned Karimusa boy but there is something or a spirit called the spirit of mind at work. If this spirit takes over you, what you say, the power or the evidence that follow your words is not your muscles, but the spirit of mind at work. Do you know there are some of you sitting here that nobody regard you, but after today they can't take you for granted because the spirit of mind will manifest in your life. There are some of you sitting here that Men had disappointed. In fact, the world you were born into itself have disappointed you. But when this spirit is at work in your life, you will be appointed to where men had disappointed you. Your army will make it happen to you fast. Hallelujah. So let us see his oppressions in the Bible. Number one, there is one man in the um, Old Testament who operated in this spirit of mind. A judge in Israel, and his name is Samson. Boyo, so, 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 so. Judges 14, 5, and 6. Eh? So we want to look at the various oppressions of the spirit in the life of Samson. Samson. Then went Samson down and his father and his mother to Timnat and came to the vineyards of Timnat, and behold, a young lion roared against him. Please, underline the word young lion. Okay? Young lion roared against him and the spirit of the Lord came mightily. I want you to underline the word mightily. Did you see it? The spirit of the Lord came upon him. But how? Mightily. In other words, the Holy Spirit came upon something in the form of the spirit of might. So, Although it was the spirit of the Lord, it was not the spirit of the Lord or the Holy Spirit operating by himself, but through the spirit of what? Might. So if you check the word mightily, it is more than an adverb. It is not just an adverb of how it came, but it is telling you the, um, the personality in which the spirit of the Lord operated 
upon Samson. Am I helping you? He came upon him mightily, and he ran him as he would have ran a kid. Hey! And the hand, sorry, and he had nothing in his hand, but he told not his father or his mother what he had done. That statement is a heavy duty statement. Let me ask you a question. Eric, if you killed a lion in town, eh, will you want to keep quiet and keep it to yourself? You, 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 we, we are here. Eric, you decided you are going to wee wee outside. And a lion who has been let loose attacks you. And Eric, you are able to stand. The spirit of the Lord came upon you mightily. And you are able to take the lion by your hand without a gun, no bullet. If you finish, you will want the whole world to know you have been able to kill a lion. Why? Because it will bring you fame and popularity. It, it, I'm telling you, it, it can earn you the accreditation. In fact, they can put it on the Guinness Book of Records. And that one alone can make you rich overnight. Am I helping somebody here? But the Bible said, Samson killed this young lion and he told not his father or his mother what he has done. In other words, even when the lion was coming, this guy was so bold, confident that he took it as killing a rat. That he didn't have to say, Mommy, Mommy, where are you, Daddy? A lion is attacking me, please. Can, you, can, can we call the police? We need soldiers. If it were me or you, immediately you will want to scream and shout for a man, bro. You see what I, I'm talking about? A man, bro, will be the first language. But the Bible said, because the spirit of the Lord came upon him mightily, if this spirit is at work in your life, you don't need the efforts of men to succeed. <laughs> Did you see that? If this spirit is at work, where men expect you to die, that is where you make a fame. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where men expect that your pursuits your desires, your dreams will fail. That is where you make a mark. And I want to prophesy upon you today that by the oppressions of the spirit of mind, you are about to make a name in your world. You are about to do something that everybody had disqualified you from and said you cannot do it. A lot of you here, men has written you off. Oh, David said, except the Lord of Sabbath has helped us, vain will have been the help of men. Would you were near to Uncrophobia, so you are expecting it to come from abroad. But today, I want your expectation to make it come from above. Yeah. David said, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the... You see, it is not bad for human beings to help you, but it is everything about it is wrong. For you to expect men that have surrounded you to be the source of your blessing. If men helps you, when God finally helps you, they will take glory and responsibility for what the Lord has done. Refuse for any man to take the honor of God. I say refuse for men to take the honor of God. God, through the spirit, made something overcome. And let me tell you something. I told you to underline the word young lion. I checked the Bible and the young lion is said to be a lion at the prime of his strength. You see, they said that when lions grow old, the more older they become, the more weaker, fragile they also become. In other words, even when he sees a prey, it can attack it. It will depend on the young lions it has given birth to, to do the attack, capture the prey, and bring supply of prey for food. So when the Bible used the word young lion, it wanted you to know the caliber of lion which attacked something. It wasn't the lion that they just gave birth to, so that you say, oh, the lion was too weak. This is a lion at the prime. 
a lion with the capacity to chase. A lion that can roar and put the fear of God in you. And the lion is known to be the symbol of strength. That is why the Bible refers to even Jesus as the lion of Judah. This lion is known to be the epitome of fear. The lion is taken to be the gate of death. You don't stand in front of a hungry lion that is ready to attack and pounce on you and not scream for help. But when the spirit came upon the man Samson, it's oppressing in him, made him meet the lion boot for boot, eyeball for eyeball, without looking for a gun or a knife. Let me tell you, God can bypass the systems of this world to use you to co conquer anything, anything, anything. I see you getting ready to overcome your fears. God will empower you to overcome your obstacles without employing the systems of this world. During COVID-19, God did something and I sat down and I told my wife, I said, by this thing the Lord had done, I am convinced there is absolutely nothing God cannot do for us. Huh? In the midst of the quarantine, we ran short of food, no money in my accounts, I took a risk, used all my money to do something. And God through his own mystical provision, divine provision, that people we don't know to be sending out food, what a money food, what a money for two months. By the time we came out, and I look at all the provision, I said, God, let the quarantine continue so that I can. It is never the can say, He was saying it because he had killed a lion and a bear. The spirit of might has operated through him to give him a reason to trust in God. I see some of you here, you will shake up yourself and wave some problems away. Some burdens are falling on you right now. Some burdens are falling. This prophecy is not for everybody, it's for those who believe it. Are you getting the things I'm talking about? Say, in this way, I'm discouraged. Are you getting what I'm talking about? The Bible said he did it. Eh? And told not his father or his mother what he had done. It also tells you this spirit. So let me ask you. Look at me. If something didn't tell the mother and the father, how did it come to light? And how did they know about it? How did it happen that they came to know about it, that it is written in the Bible? And not only the mother and the father now know, but you and I who were not there now we know. Do you know what it means? It means that when the spirit of God uh, might is at work on a person's life, he advertises you. Hey! The world haven't seen anybody like you in the world before. What God is about to do through us as a church, my ministry is about to conquer territories in the world. No, 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 no. Those who are not connecting well to the church, eh, you better sit well. Though. And don't look for me and say, I am your daddy. After the Lord has blessed me. After I command respect and faith. Don't call me daddy. I don't know you. Somebody called me yesterday. Eh, eh, no, that was eh, Wednesday. Daddy, I'm your daughter. Eh, my name is Jesus. I said, my daughter and I don't know your number. So, oh, daddy, I check, no, I'm saying, ha, and you think I won't say that I'm a If you are a true daughter, you will not call your father, and your father will not know your voice. Jesus said, my sheep knows me, and they hear my voice, and another man voice they will not hear. If you are a true member of the church, it is time for you to sit up. In these perilous times, let us know you are with us. Connect. Come to church. Be consistent. Be faithful. Don't wait till explosion has come. And then my working style have changed. <laughs> and then, and then, I drive supercars, supercars. 
if the spirit of might is at work in your life, even the car you drive will be super. 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 Your house. Super. Your marriage. Super. Your ministry. Super. May you receive the super realm. The super realm. Because he gives you superhuman abilities. Are you getting what I'm talking about? So, you will not lay hands on somebody who is sick and they carry the sickness back home because he will give you superhuman anointing. Uh, I'm blessing the child of God here. Hallelujah. The next oppression of this spirit is found in Judges chapter 15 and the verse 14 and 15. Powerful. Powerful. Somebody say powerful, powerful, powerful. And when he came unto Lehi, the Philistines shouted against him. And the spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him, and the cause that were upon his arms became a flask. Ay, 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 ay. That was burnt with fire, and his bones loose from his hands. Hey! If this spirit is in oppression, he will silence your enemies. Most of you, your enemies have not stopped talking and shouting and making noise because this spirit has not started operating in your life. The Bible said, he came to Lehi. This story, let me give you the background. This was the time where the people of uh, Judah had arrested Samson, bound him, and handed him over to the Philistine because he had gone to burn their farms. And because he burned their farms, they also came to the land of the children of Israel to want to also destroy things and molest people. It was a time where the Philistines had actually taken over the land of the children of Israel. They were under their captivity. And God sent them series of judges so Samson was one of said judges and then the people said if we are going to spare your lives buy Samson and bring him to us alive and the Benjamin did exactly what the Philistine their slave masters have requested and they bound him and handed him over to the children of the Philistines now the Bible said he came to Pada when they took him and they were sending him to the city of Gaza between the land of the Benjamins to Gaza, they came to a land called Lehi. And when they got to Lehi, Lehi itself had a lot of historical things I don't want to talk about. But the Bible said, the spirit of the Lord came mightly. In other words, the spirit of might came upon him. Then the cause which they had used to bind Samson began to melt like flash. Do you know flash? How many of us have seen candle before? If you light a candle, as the candle begins to consume the hurricane thread inside, you see that the candle wax begins to also what? melt softly without anybody applying the wellness fire. Whether it was chains, metal, ropes, we are not told. But the Bible said, by the arrival of the Spirit upon Samson, all the bounds began to melt. If you have this Spirit in your life, your enemy cannot bound you. And some of you are coming out of imprisonment because whatever that they used to bound you, the spirit of might is coming upon you today. There are some of us physically, when you look at us, we are nice. Sister cute, brother cute. Everything is cute. But spiritually, you are bound. The reason why many people are in church, they look nice, but life is not nice. And life has become so bitter as if they have been baptized in lemon juice. It's nothing that the enemy that had held them in captivity or in imprisonment. But when power arrives, protocols are forbidden. Today, get ready to move into the power realm because the spirit of March is coming upon somebody here. Then the Bible said, 
He found a new job on of an ass. Huh? And put forth his hand and took it. And slew a thousand men. Bumper harvest. One man cannot fight and kill thousand trained soldiers. It's impossible. These were armed, trained soldiers for combat. And yet, Adenta Madina, Macho Mena, Omudi politician, BHT. These are soldiers trained to kill thousands of them. And they are following only one anointed bound man. But when one spirit arrived, all their powers and knowledge were suspended. Ah, and the Munifia. Munifia, I wish I came to pray to a Holy Ghost testy Christian who is saying that at all costs today I must be anointed. I wish I'm preaching to somebody who is testy for the spirit of might. You will suspend protocols. You will suspend the powers of the world. You will suspend sickness, adversity. By the spirit of mind, get ready to do the impossible. Receive the power. The Bible said he took the job on of an ass. Not a gun. Not a spear. Not a pistol. This is just a job on. And thousands trained soldiers with spear, bow and arrow were rendered impotent. I don't know how many are against you. But all you need is the spirit of might. I don't know. I don't know who and who are sat in council against you. But today, I see God turning the weak into a warrior. Today, I see you leave church. You didn't leave as a loser. You left as a conqueror. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I see God giving unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the world. No, 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 no. Are there Christians in the auditorium? Are there Christians here? But we are here, we are Christianity is moving to the power dimension. After COVID-19, all prophets who saw this thing, some in 86, and prophesied that in 2020 there will be a pandemic called COVID-19. They said it will move the church to prayer, and after the disease is over, there will be a wildfire of revival sweeping across the continents of the world. So, unbelievers who have despised prophets, insulted the church, Despise men of God, they will bow their head down in shame because they will begin to see God move and shaking system as never before. This is the spirit of might. And I am looking at pastors and apostles rising out of the auditorium. I am looking at end time women are sitting here looking weak. I see the now prophetess in town. Uh, 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 uh. No, are, are there Christians here? Are there Christians in the church? Some of you here, family don't look for you, but after this encounter, they will begin to say, Me wa fa siya na ekono. Or ya me wa fa ba, me suwa ba. Me ni ya biya chiri ba. You are about to make a name. You are about to make a... Receive the power. It will not be a time for... Yanko Pankroff, what's your name? Mela, sorry. The church is moving from that realm. It will be a time where now he said he slew thousand men with one jawbone. Let's do the arithmetic. If one jawbone is slain thousand men, two will slay how many? And let me tell you, you are you are more than the, a dead bone. If a bone in the hands of the anointed carry the spirit of might. Who kill thousand? Then let me tell you, you in the hands of God, you are as deadly as the word deadly. You will slay and win souls. Uh, 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 uh. Are there soul winners in the church? I see God putting the job board, the job board of the job board of an ass. We see the power. Go and pass a thousand. Go and pass 2,000. Go and pass 3,000. Move into higher dimensions. 
I am looking for a day I will come to church and I will not have time to come and stand here talking. Let the power do the talking. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking for a day the anointing will be in a dimension they will assemble the sick and I don't have to talk. Go, you are healed. 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 The spirit of might. If this spirit comes upon you, your life becomes a challenge to unbelievers. They get confused about you. They don't know whether you are a human being, whether you are a ghost. And then they say, or oh, you're a con man. Listen, never join unbelievers to criticize men of God. If they are fake, let the God who said the corn and the wheat the what the test must grow together let him come and separate it that is not your ministry the ministry of uh, test and corn was not given to you are you getting what i'm talking about nyamina or the nasem or see a ja a separated the bone from the marrow no or say tabre no swa or the baby in the home but never join all believers because you know why if god put you under the same anointing, I am a sick. And someone cross for back and forth. When would the enemy be worse? And that is why I don't talk about any man of God. But the enemy did me come. Me the enemy bar. Me me turn down the enemy a jata and a crime and my bow fear. But nothing will be fear. But things will happen to you. No, I'm not blessing you. The spirit of mind at work in a person's life doesn't make sense. Are you getting me? Let's look at other examples. My time is up. Judges 1628. Okay, so so yeah. Okay, let's look at 16, 1 to 3 first. You take me to 16, 1 to 3. 16, 1 to 3. Eh? The Bible said on another time, went Samson to Gaza and saw there an harlot and went in unto her. And it was told the Gaza, saying, Samson is come thither. And they compassed him in and laid wait for him all night in the gate of the city and were quiet all the night. In other words, they were spying to have him to kill, saying, in the morning when it is day, we shall kill him. Uh -huh. And Samson lay till midnight, and arose at midnight, and took the doors of the gate of the city. Hey! And the two posts, and went away with them, bar and all. Uh? And put them upon his shoulders, and carried them up to the top of an hill, that is before the Hebrew. You, you. Have you even carried car tied to the Aburi mountain before? Ah, do you know the gates of a city? Even the gate of our, our uh, church entrance. If I ask you to go carry the pillars and the gate together and put it on your shoulder and go and climb the Aburi mountain, will you try it? But here is something. The Bible said when the spirit of the Lord came upon him in this way, he took the gates of a city. And those days, when they talk about city gates, houses, seven houses, who ride on their walls and on their gates side by side. And one man, anointed of the spirit of might, carried the gates, the bars, the pillars, all together, not one after the other, lifted it as if somebody is taking a bucket of water. And put it on the shoulder. Amazing. Amazing. I have seen people that were being delivered and they got violent. And some of them decided to attack the man of God. All the horses, security protocol couldn't hold them. And the man of God just stood still, did the hand like this. And this violent, strong man who after his deliverance even came to testify, he had gone to Judu to swallow many tokens. Life force. All kinds of animals. So you can't cut his skin with a knife. You can't shoot him with a bullet. It won't enter. 
But when they got aggressive attacking the man of God, just a movement of the finger of the man of God put them down. They are delivered and rendered powerless. The spirit of might. <laughs> Am I helping you? If you follow most of the trend of prophetic ministry on the continents of the world in Africa, you will see there are a lot of power prophets on these continents. And you say, oh yeah, oh, fin, I mean, this is the spirit of might at work. Hey, giant Tibiana, Ojina, and then me empower with the word of God. Go and slay them down. Go and. No, no, no. I'm sad. You don't believe this way. I am sad. Is there anybody here with the giant standing in front of you? Power has come. Go and floor them. Is there any giant problem you are fighting? Power has arrived. Receive power to overcome it. Receive the power. Am I helping somebody here? Last oppressing. Judges 16, 28. Yeah, they better compare Isaiah 9, 6. And something called unto the Lord and said, Oh Lord God, remember me. I pray thee and strengthen me. I pray thee only this once, oh God, that I may be at once avenge of the Philistines for my two eyes. Uh-huh. Ro. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And Samson took hold of the two middle pillars upon which the house stood and on which it was born up. Of the one with the right hand and on the other with the left. Uh-huh. Say, 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 say. And Samson said, let me die with the feeling. This is the prayer Samson prayed. I have never agreed with him. You can't die with sinners. That is why, you see, when you are anointed, there are certain deaths you can't die. That is why when Saul died, David lamented, cried, and said, why thou thou like a fool die? As if thou was not anointed. Anointing a certain dimensions doesn't permit you to die a certain death. You can disagree with me, but I'm telling you the spiritual truth. Yes. That is why even Jesus, when he died on the cross, the Bible called it a shameful death. God's anointed doesn't die like that. And so it was not possible for grave to hold him. The anointing might quicken him and prove you don't kill the anointed and then finish them like that. Am I helping you here? I forbid you today never to die a death which is premature. Receive the power. Huh? Let me die with the Philistines. And he bowed himself with all his might. Did you see it? The word might. Did you see it? The spirit of God now manifesting in the form of the spirit of what? Might. Huh? And the house fell upon the laws. He held it. The thing moves more. Somebody said, they are just joking. Uh, he, he's joking. He's, he's just entertaining us. How can one man move these big pillars on which a whole synagogue, a temple built for their God, Dagon, the God of harvest. And every year they will do this harvest and celebrate him. He said, you can't do anything to us. Kika, 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 before they know, the building is coming down. Some of you, that spirit has just started with you. It hasn't come to its maximum. So your enemies are still making mockery and fun of you. They said this small church at that corner, oh yeah, the fight down saying, they are joking, they can't become anything. Even when we are still praying and we are in, in, in the business of self-fasting, they say, oh, they are joking, they ain't going anywhere. But let me tell you, by the time this spirit is fully blown in our midst, Ghana will be too small for faith to work. I want to see the believers in the church. By the time he has finished his perfect work in our midst, this church will burn and consume the unbelieving work for the Lord. And you are the one on life as an instrument and a vessel for the Lord. Uh, am I blessing somebody in the house of God? Me person, me man will develop a corner for operating through the seven spirits of God. You need to operate it. You need to be filled with it. 
As I saw with the year, what comes you see, stop praying for perming cream. And a radina mami, no radina mami, no radina. Some of the prayers you pray, God laugh in heaven. You are like a prince who don't really understand your princip. You are like a princess who don't understand your privileges. And all you are doing is, who padi agi se usu. Go and see the daughters of His Excellency Nana Akufuado. They will let you know we are in charge. Oh, be politician, be on ukura on on your own president. Just a politician, then pick a ketimu kase. Me mama use Ghana hire me to me. Assemblyman, embragi. And you, you don't know your rights. You talk, you you pray, and you talk as if we are mama power. What we are saying, if this seven spirit come upon you. A lot of the things you are crying for will look for you. Yeah. Ah, yes, yeah, sir, yeah, Kato. I'm not blessing you. What, 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 and you might be a horse, sir, I don't want any bows, who won't win a year, Juma Womua. Won't conquer, No, 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 no. Let me tell you something. I am not filled with the seven spirits, I'm still growing in them. But let me tell you, even Kitty Kitty, now you could have no. Medias are put to the mouth of lions to silence. There are things I don't pray for. Mijinai, if you mean Papua, basically, me tie them and tie Everything is a gift. If including my underwear, forgive me. You see jealousy is hitting you, you can't clap. That's why we are so selling testimonies. Clap and let go show you mercy. Mercy. Huh? Yeah. Me, I don't pray God. I read me more, Everything you see, by the time I am thinking about it, somebody is knocking my door with it. Yes, really, grace. No, you are jealous, but I am telling you. Who Christ or someone yet who pay ya who bano? My name will say you know who you are. Command things, believe God. I read it. Give me the spirit of might. I want to have encounter with the spirit of wisdom. Bompire man, you mean fail you. Once you are filled, most of the things your friends, family are chasing for will locate you. They will say, Yea, though I walk through the valleys of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. Thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. He said, Goodness and mercy now shall follow me all the days of my wife, because thou anointest my hair with oil. Uh... No, no, no. Mumu dunye nye no pa. Mumu dunye nye. Mama, sorry. We are not in the concert party. I am not doing entertainment. Those who believe in me, it be so unto you. Be receive the power. I'm blessing you. Is somebody here? And to me, in fact, Christos Shumu nye concert. A lot of you, what did Christos Shumu nye I'm going to call you the no, 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 I want you my better to do my mink to run a software jack on the job. I mean, I'm serious. I can't mean to move concept right in good years. At least I had the young charge. Meboa, your pastors look like Bobo Kala. May God surprise you after today in the name of Jesus. Huh? Is somebody with me? Isaiah 9 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God. Did you see it? Ah, huh? it is a spirit way. You know, who kind of Bible? I when I started the series, I talk about the seven spirit that sit in front of the throne. And he said that you saw one stone, and upon one stone was found seven what eyes, and these eyes are what the seven spirits of God. The reason why God is said to be called mighty God or almighty God is because of this component spirit of the seven spirit called the spirit of might. And to say, I mean the same mind spirit way, Mawa, you have partaken in divine nature. In other words, you become a God on earth for human beings. Uh, you are not getting what I'm saying here. Eh? Enti wono ma omo mpai boye ma mi nkuton sira ni ma mi emu ni ni ma mi pabuan sero they don't this is what they mix 
They don't partake in divine nature. They don't exercise who they are. Why do you think I'm always fasting? Up and we cry. Why do you think so? You think no, no, no. Talk to me. We are in church. I'm closing. Talk to me. You think if for what I will eat and where I will sleep, then I will say that I am blessed. But I want to become a God to my world. Demons must know me. No. No. Huh? No, I know some of you have a problem with my message. Akwe wo ye jepa, wo ye proud. Hey. The money say Paul we know, Jesus we know. You two where are you? So who are you? So it, listen. Demons can know your name. So I don't worry about so I. We by four. When they fly in the night, they will know where to go because your place will be a danger zone for them. Is somebody blessed in the church? I'm going to close for the second service. But I need you to pray. Okay? For one minute. God, anoint me and refresh me with the spirit of might. I don't want to walk in wahala, human muscles and strength. I want my life to become superhuman. From today, lift your hands and begin to pray. Stand up. My Heavenly Father, I pray for your people. Everyone that came to service today, Lord, needs you. We need the seven spirits. Fail us. Bring down our weaknesses. And fill us with might. May we accomplish greater things for the kingdom. May we gather souls from far and near into your house. Not according to human wisdom and strength, but according to the spirit of might. I pray that from today, an army of spirit-filled believers will rise out of this auditorium. I pray that from today, prophets and apostles, sent in the might of the spirit, will leave the auditorium of faith and go and do exploits outside the countries of the world. May you fill us, and may you teach us your counsel and your wisdom. A year today, May we celebrate and may we remember today and say, the Lord had dealt wondrously with us. May we receive the mind to prosper. May we receive the mind to overcome poverty. May we overcome all the forces of Ghana, the territorial powers of this nation that brings down ministers and churches and fight against God's anointed. Empower us, O oh Lord. Our heart desire for the bruise that we may drink to our fail. Fill us, O oh God, that there shall not be any weak amongst us. That one of us will chase a thousand and two of us will put ten thousand to flight. We honor you this morning and I bless you for your presence in our midst. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We honor you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Next week, I'm going to be ending this series with an anointing service. Okay? We will put the oil here. You put your hand in it and then you go. Okay? You are going to fast Sunday Mendidi. Tmey. Don't not, not even water. If I catch you, you will see what I'll do to you. <laughs> You are fasting and you are praying already. I'm going for anointing service. I don't want permanent cream. You are coming here fasting that God should fail you. These things I'm teaching is going to prepare the church, you and me, for greater accomplishment. So you will come with the faith of God in your heart. So that by the time we close, you will receive and be filled and go and do the impossible. Are you, are you together? Take an offering. Take an offering.
Lift it up. Father, we dedicate this money to your altar. <coughs> Bless it. Sanctify it. And cause their returns to manifest and show forth in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Be glorified, be glorified.